War has been a big point of interest recently. In August 2021, the nearly 20-year-long war in Afghanistan ended in the departure of United States forces and quickly after the collapse of the established government to the Taliban. Half a year later, in February 2022, Russian forces invaded the neighboring country of Ukraine, becoming the biggest land conflict in Europe since World War II. This increased focus also includes the film industry, as two major war and military-related films were released in 2022. The first was Top Gun Maverick, the long-awaited sequel to the 1986 classic starring Tom Cruise's hotshot Navy pilot Pete Maverick Mitchell. The other was All Quiet on the Western Front, a German adaptation of the 1929 novel of the same name, about the experiences of young German soldiers during World War I. The films were received positively, with both even getting nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Despite being similar in terms of praise, both films position themselves opposite on conflict and the experience of the soldier. One of these differences is how the soldier is portrayed. According to Gavin Davies in his paper, The Hero Soldier Portrayals of Soldiers in War Films, the key tenets of the hero soldier is leadership, loyalty, and risk taking. These tenets are exemplified by the pilots of Top Gun Maverick. They are the best pilots in the Navy, they have a sense of camaraderie with each other, and go on a dangerous mission that most agree could result in their death, though the soldiers all make it out all right. The pilots in the film are designed to be larger than life figures for people to root for and support in their endeavors, akin to the Greek legends rather than the common soldier. In contrast, All Quiet has a different stance on these tenets. Paul and his friends aren't leaders. They merely follow the orders and whims of their superiors. While the soldiers are loyal to each other, it's a bond through trauma unlike in Top Gun Maverick. They also take a great deal of risk, but they also face consequences much more often, with all the major players dying by the end of the film. This paints a much bleaker picture of the soldiers' deeds. You aren't the hero bringing glory to your country. You are a tool by your leaders to carry out their whims. In Frank Jacobs' Warren film, Semiotics and Conflict-Related Sign Constructions on the Screen, he talks about the political agenda inscribed into the filmic presentation of collective violence and how that affects people. Top Gun Maverick, like its predecessor, had a very cozy relationship with the U.S. military to secure equipment needed for the film, and that came with certain benefits for the U.S. military's image. The armed forces are very selective of the narratives they want portrayed and will frequently request films downplay the negatives, such as the full risk of war, if studios want their equipment and support. This has the effect on Top Gun Maverick of having a very positive spin on service, thus giving the impression to audiences of how cool it would be in the military with all the cool planes and volleyball sequences. And to capitalize on this newfound sense of excitement, the U.S. Navy was reported to have had advertisements and recruitment booths outside of select theaters. This is conveniently at a time when military recruitment is down across the board. Meanwhile, All Quiet has a much more cynical and real take on the military and those in charge. The film, like the book, was made to show the typical experience of the soldiers in the trenches and it was not glamorous in that depiction. Dirt and blood everywhere, food sucked, and you're likely to die choking on gas or burning to a flamethrower just over a few meters of mud. It's harrowing and not a pleasant experience. In contrast, the film explores the leaders during the war living relatively cozy lives. They eat good meals in their mansions while ordering around people they never see to go die for their goals. A less flashy take, but one very much based on the reality this film takes place in. War has a wide range of depictions in film. Some films take a positive stance on the military, highlighting the heroic side of the people who serve while downplaying the more negative aspects of that service. Other films highlight those negative aspects, deconstructing the shield of patriotism to show the corruption inherent in conflict. This conflicting stance is to be expected. With war at the forefront of public consciousness, creatives will put their energy toward these artistic endeavors to rationalize reality. So in many ways, these films can be therapeutic and help us as a people process the complex feelings of war.